Hi, welcome back to the Kung Fu Book Review. My name is Sifu Dr. Mark Stevenson, and today we are going to be covering Advanced Wing Chun by William Cheng. Um, we mentioned a little bit about the author before, so um, he was one of the top students of, uh, well, sort of not top, but end students of Yip Man, right? So he did the um, Yip Man Hong Kong lineage Wing Chun. Uh, and then he emigrated off to Australia and he set up his own organisation, which is quite large now. Um, and uh, he, his branch of Wing Chun is a little bit different to the, the stuff that I've studied. Uh, I mentioned before some of his forms have quite a lot of extra movements in them, quite a lot of footwork, which I believe has emerged out of his years of practice and reflection of doing chi sao and looking at the common applications that you get from from look sao from double sticking hands um he was one of the you know so he, he was one of the early sort of pioneers of the lots of books in wing chun uh, this is an older book as well um you know not as old as i'd say it's second generation so this was 1988 the first publication uh the 17th printing <laughs> so it's been going for a while was in 2005. Now, um, this book focuses on the second form of Wing Chun, right? So the Chun Kill. Right? Um, my overall impressions are, if you know my views on still grainy black and white photographs, particularly of authors with no shirts on, oh, um, then you know that I'm not a fan of this. Right? So uh, it's generally my belief that, you know, um, Martial arts books should either uh, inspire uh, curiosity, um, maybe have uh, conversations with old masters and pass on wisdom, uh, give you things to reflect on, or focus on theory, right? So the principles that underlie the art so that they can go alongside um, and support your physical practice. Uh, if you imagine that you've got two sides, right, you've got, a, you know, I've got a little Taiji symbol here. So you've got the, uh, the yin side, you know, the sort of the, the dense, heavy, uh, cold, uh, hollow part. And then the yang side, you know, the light, spirited, energetic part um, uh, and hot as well. So um, your physical training is yang, right? You know, you're, you're running off, you're touching hands with people, you're fighting, you're hitting the pads, you're hitting the bag, you're hitting the wooden man, uh, you're pushing yourself, maybe you're doing physical calisthenics as well, right? So you're, you're, you're very yang in this state, right? You're engaged, you're practicing, right? And then the corresponding yin parts of the practice could be the reflective, meditative breathing, but it could also be sitting down with a good book, um, especially if it's got principles and theories and reflecting, mindfully reflecting on your practice. And I think this is where the, this is the place of the book, right? Um, because the video has, has, you know, replaced this, you know, so all, all of this stuff, right, you know, is, is hard to learn uh, from a series of still photographs. Uh, it's not the best medium for doing it. So I believe that there is a, still a great place for martial arts books. But um, sadly, some of these older books, they, they just haven't aged very well. And that's my, unfortunately, my opinion about quite a few of the works of... Um, William Cheng and these other they're sort of like 1980s authors where they just they just plumped out loads and loads of books you know just pump them out into the into the uh and you know suckers like me and other people bought bought lots of them because there was nothing else at the time but now there are excellent resources for 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 watching videos and you know DVDs and also um YouTube is a brilliant resource right if you know where to look so uh yeah overall I'd say yeah, unfortunately not great. Um, what have we got in here? So here is the contents page, as always. Mm -hmm. A quick look. And um, so he does start off with some principles, right? So, uh, and I think this is actually the best section of the book is three pages at the start <laughs> where he talks about the principles of Wing Chun. So avoiding fighting force with force, the center line, using two arms at the same time, focusing on the elbow and knee before contact, using contact reflexes, using a neutral stance. Um, and then actually he's got a little bit more principles, sort of snuck in one extra page, you get four pages of principles uh, in the stances and footwork. And this is something that I've been taught by several different 
um, practitioners, and I think it's great, is the what makes a good start. And I think this actually is a universal principle that applies to any martial art, which is mobility, stability, and agility. So mobility, the ability to move quickly and safely, stability, the ability to have structure and not to be knocked over, and uh, agility, so it's the ability to, to change those between those two rapidly, right? So, um, yeah, so that you can interrupt your movement. He calls it interruptibility here, but one of my teachers would call it agility, right? Stability, mobility, agility, right? So, and this is good because that's a universal set of principles. But after those first few pages, we are into the world of black and white stills. Not all of them with your shirt off, but many, many with the shirt off. Um, right, so the you get a little bit about different stances and footwork, and again, but the footwork is not sophisticated, right? It's just the arrow step, and I think maybe the walking step. But there's 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 tons of footwork in Wing Chun, right? If you but you've got to look sometimes a bit hard, and not all of the practitioners were were taught it. So you know, so sometimes you gotta you gotta dig a bit. Um, now, but the vast majority of this book, so from pages thirty nine to one hundred nine, so seventy pages, is the wing is is the chum kill right so it's just chum kill chum kill more chum kill more chum kill more chum kill and you get this right where it's the the, the movements are not even explained it is literally just this panel this this kick this movement bong sao hands come back bong sao hands come back and then just with the numbers of what the name of the technique no explanation so um i've got to say pretty weak right like especially by today's standards maybe back in the day it was okay because a lot of people weren't giving this sort of stuff out but i don't even think you could really learn it like this way right without going along to a seminar at least and, and seeing it um uh and then you get the uh the corresponding uh stuff that uh, goes alongside the chunk hill so the introduction of double-handed chi sao there's tons and tons of stills of all of the different poses. Sometimes you get a few arrows in there to kind of tell you because because you know you're moving, you know you've got your chi sao position, and then he's like, okay, do an arrow, so you're going to come under and then do a strike, for example, right? Um, again, very difficult to, to see from a book. Uh, and then you've got a bunch of different sparring and self defense applications. Again, it's it's very similar to what we've seen before. So you know, guy steps in with punch connect then you know counter right do a gate and then strike uh i wouldn't even say that is advanced wing chun right like um i, I was i remember at the time when i first read this book being disappointed <laughs> um so and there wasn't a lot of other stuff available so uh and i was just like oh that's that's it like i've i think i've learned all of these already and um yeah it's it's not it's not really bringing anything new to me so um, I remember when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, <laughs> not very advanced. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I gotta say overall solid thumbs down for this one. Like, even if you're one of William Cheng's students learning his version of the chum kill, just, just learn it in class. <laughs> like, I, I would not recommend this book, unfortunately. He has got some other better ones. I don't want to rip on him too hard because like I said, um, early, early day publication, uh, you know, 1988, there wasn't a lot of stuff out there. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's really the only excuse I'd say. So, but uh, yeah, uh, and he's written other books that are slightly better. So yeah, um, I would I would recommend if you want to see him in action these days, he's actually got some pretty good like hour long YouTube stuff that I've seen recently. And that looked great, like basically just live recordings of, of him as an older guy teaching seminars in Australia. Um, so his stuff is good, but uh, but this book is not. <laughs> so uh, yeah, overall, got to say, Advanced Wing Chun gets a big advanced thumbs down. Um, not keen on this one. Uh, good, okay. Let me know if you want me to continue trashing William Cheng's books, or uh, maybe I'll find one of the good ones that I own of his. Uh, or if you want more Wing Chun books, maybe some positive reviews. I've got a whole bunch. I've got so many Wing Chun books. So I was really thinking maybe looking at one which is uh, another slightly different, like maybe one of the ones that covers the history. Um, uh, because I think that's, you know, we, we've done a few of these kind of like 
black and white photo technique books and uh, we're not really getting much out of it at the moment so yeah please let me know or you want me to crack on and you know come back to some shingy stuff some tai chi stuff or meditation uh, i will do one sort of meditation or um uh you know sort of other associated kung fu book uh, about every four videos or so so uh, look out for those as well good please do like share and subscribe please do pass it around the other you know wing chun community um a kung fu community anyone that you think might be interested uh you know we're just starting this out um and also stay posted i've got a i'm going to actually start releasing some content that is uh the actual physical uh content i'm starting a, a 30 day qigong series um so have a look out for that as well guys so it's uh, just about sort of half an hour 40 minutes every day and it's going to be one video a day for 30 days because uh, these seem to be quite popular at the moment and everyone's locked up so um yeah see what you think and maybe you can practice along and, and follow along with me good uh best of luck with your practice everyone and uh, see you all soon